Now, before we run out of time here, I want to talk a little bit about uh, another military person. Of course, this was a Navy SEAL who died in this, this self-driving car. The first person so far to die in one of these incredibly safe cars. You know, they were going to put an end to all deaths on the highway, weren't they? We've been told that endlessly. You know, we got 30,000 people a year dying, they say, and we're going to take that down to zero. Nobody's going to die, Volvo says, in their cars. And so we see the same thing from Tesla. And as I look at this, I say, you know, they, they come back and they're absolutely unrepentant, Tesla is. They say, well, you know, if he hadn't hit that uh, truck from the side, if he'd hit it from the front or the back, then he would have survived. And, of course, they know because they've had a lot of their self-driving cars hit trucks from the front and back. It's, this isn't the first accident they've had. It's the first fatality they've had. Going back to May the 26th, Fortune magazine, another driver blames Tesla for an autopilot crash. They say... Uh, this is one individual took a video of this and it hit a car. Okay, so he's following behind a car in cruise control mode. He's got the car driving. There's a black car in front of him. It swerves to avoid somebody that stopped in his lane. And not only does the autopilot not stop, but he says what's worse, the car actually sped up before it hit the brakes. Okay, hits it harder. So the crash of one is didn't work. They say this has been the subject of debate of late uh, after two Model S drivers, and this is back in May. Uh, earlier that month, blamed the car's self-driving features for causing a crash. One of the drivers accused the technology of driving the car into a trailer, smashing his car's windshield. Another driver claimed the car's autopilot didn't engage when she assumed it would prevent colliding with the rear of another car. Do you see how they're lulling you into a state of passivity? What will happen to the insurance rates for these Tesla cars. Will they go up? Of course they won't. Because big business and big government wants this. They want this very badly because it's all about control. And when we look at what's happening, the way it came out, uh, we got a, a story up on the LA Times via Drudge. Tesla and Google are both driving toward autonomous vehicles. Which company is taking the better route? And they try to spin this by saying, well, okay, Tesla is giving you uh, a system where you have to be able to take control back and you have the opportunity to take control back. Google says, no, we want fully autonomous systems where you won't have any control at all. And those will be safer because there won't be any need for you to all, all of a sudden wake up from, you know, falling asleep. We've seen the pictures of the guy who was in the Tesla in traffic, fast asleep. And people took videos of that and said, look at how scary this is. Or you won't be watching a Harry Potter movie as this Navy SEAL who died was uh, and have to get your attention real quick so that you can uh, pull this thing back. No, they say we're going to take a different approach. Google says we're going to have it fully autonomous and we're going to take away your brakes and your steering wheel. And I have to look at this and say, well, I'm not really sure that I want to do that. OK. Uh, when we look at Google, who wants control of um, all of your driving, no steering, no brakes, we look at Uber that wants to control all of your ownership. They don't want you to own a car. You're going to get the car from them, okay? And I, I guess if you put those two together, you got Google and Uber, you got Guberment, and it's the Guberment that is run by these corporations that wants to control all of your transportation, folks. That's what this ultimately boils down to. You know, when they say the people who are getting in these Tesla cars, they have to acknowledge that this is beta software. And I have to say, I've written software. I've been in that industry. You don't put beta software in a life or death situation like this. And it isn't just the people who are in the Tesla cars who are acknowledging that they're doing a beta test. It's all the people, the other people who are on the road. You know, when I'm on the road, and I've got some idiot in an untested piece of software driving his car in a Tesla vehicle. And he said, I'm okay with that. Well, you know what? Nobody asked my permission. I didn't give my permission for him to do a beta test with, the lives, with my lives and my family's life, okay? Because I'm on the road as well. It is absolutely inexcusable. Do you think there's going to be an investigation? Do you think Hillary will get indicted? <laughs> of course there won't be. The government wants this. Google, Uber, the government, they want control of everything. This is not autopilot. This is not rocket. Who you got autopilot? Uh, a great uh, point that was made by a, an auto writer, uh, Eric Peters. He said autopilot on an airplane is done when you've got the planes spaced out. They're not anywhere close to each other. That's not the situation here. Unless you're going to have cars spaced uh, 30 minutes apart, okay? It's not the same thing.